start our Board of Health meeting then. Um, uh, and let me just get online here. Um, All right, it is, uh, is Susan connected by way of Zoom? Do you know? Susan? We, we can't start all this Emma's here. <clears throat> Margaret, that's to be true. Yes, I know. So I'm hoping Susan is online. Um, but let me see what, uh, where our link is. Well, I don't think I need this recording. You basically told me pretty much what I need to know. And then I called the other guy tomorrow. I got his. And another, why well, I keep a couple of different notebooks in the other one. But you guys are good. You basically don't. Cops gave me a warning about this. You know, it's civil. And like it says, uh, the state health and safety, they said they're going to jump on it right away. But yeah, I have to go to you guys first. Yeah. So that's all that is. So that was. Yeah, Susan is looking to get online right now, wondering why we haven't started. Okay. So we're going to be on TV. And <clears throat> Just to let you know. Um, so have you? Now you I quit because Zoom? I don't want to see that. Thanks right. for the warning. Because right. it, it, I'm it, holding it, back my aces. It, it's going it, to be on uh, YouTube. I don't quite understand why you <laughs> I think he might. That, that's what that it's, is. should that's be on okay. the town not, website. I'm not worried about it. I just don't want to I mean, advertise see, yet until you, I get some um, more what answers. The Zoom link yeah. is the Zoom link. Because all the dogs you can my property, his house is. What's that? Am I under now or not? But that's his boundary. He's yeah. all, all through this area. So yeah. it's pretty much, you know, like cops said, the yeah, evidence good. Yeah. I'll quit while I'm ahead before too many people know my business. How's, how's your sister doing? Good. Yeah. Good. She won't retire. She likes to keep busy. Damon's back. He just come back from Japan. He was up in that area. Wow. They're moving a lot of stuff to uh, Ukraine. So if you go to yeah. Hadley. Yeah. There's just something there. Of and he's off, I think, for three or four months. David's, he got, now he's working at UMass for Grotsky because he went for the benefits. He left Adams. Yeah. And I still raised a little bit of tobacco. Yeah. I had a couple operations two years ago, bedridden for five months. It's best I walked in about four years. So, wow. oh, yeah. But I guess it's, I'm getting old and banged up. So I pace myself. <laughs> I, I know the feeling. I think you know the game. I know the feeling. Hey, it feels good just to move. Okay. Let me alive. get your, what? Feels good to be alive. Yeah, that's the way it's been going lately. I, I was surprised that Timmy Barstow died. I remember playing uh, tag football with him up in Hawking on the old gym, playing basketball yeah. back in high school. And he was always athletic, healthy. And did he have something underlying? I haven't seen a guy in 30 years. I don't know. I, oh, I saw him paper. Um, it it's, really say, so where it didn't I say one way. It, no, it didn't. Link. No. I just need to put it in one second. They didn't tell me that this was also a Zoom. It's always a Zoom. Hey, your phone yeah, here? so. Sorry, this is well, my first day, say, so I uh, only I haven't been voice. Oh, out, okay. So I oh, kind of oh, okay, I got I got that major. She, yeah. Okay, it's off. Yeah, her. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, she. So yeah, she doesn't work in the office. I'm in the office once in a while. Okay, mm -hmm. but yeah, and if nobody answers, oh, just leave the voice. Call. Oh, this is it's definitely not life or death. That's nine yeah. eleven. You know, yeah. you don't wake that lot. So who's the young lady? Board of Health too. I think you're Hadley Media. Right? Yeah, I'm just the media. Yeah. Oh, I got you. Okay. She's, she's Dragon. She, she's I'm running this. I got you. And uh, Dragon's Board of Health, too. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Emma. She's yep. my daughter's age. Yeah. yeah. I, think she, I think she's on her way here. She's well, I wish her best of health yep. because I got a little bit curious. Well, I'll let she, well, she, she might be connecting on her computer. All right. So, Susan. Thank you, Ed. Thank you. Okay, Susan, are you on? Well, uh, great. Um, so I. It, uh, well. Yeah, yeah. Is Emma on? Is Emma on by any chance? I don't have a picture. No, okay, so Emma's not here then. Okay, all right. Well, then, uh, Susan, I suggest we probably start.
Just, just me and Peter. Uh, yes, um, so yeah, I, 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 I yeah, uh, Margaret in favor. Um, we, we do not. Um, however, let me, let me just give you the rundown in terms of where we are in terms of food establishments. Uh, so as, as you guys know, we're using the new software application. Um, out of 124 establishments that could be renewing or should be renewing, 81 have renewed. Um, the other 43 have not. Um, so what we did today is we s sent emails to those who have not renewed, who with whom we have email addresses. We gave them a, essentially a second warning, if you will, mentioning in the letter that their um, permits have expired. This is 84, I'm sorry, Peter, just to back up, 124 establishments should renew, and yes. of those, 84 did renew? A 81. Okay. 81 renewed, 43 did not. Okay. So, again, so of the 43 that did not, um, mm -hmm. I, want to, I think it's 32 have email addresses. The other 11 will receive letters by way of the postal system. And again, the letter states that, again, your the, your permit has expired. You need to get a permit uh, essentially right away. And in the letter, we give them instructions on how to do it online using the application. If they cannot use it or choose not to use it, the letter also mentions our email address at the Board of Health if they need help. Uh, that's what that's what I was leading up to. I was going to ask you guys what you want to do. So, Susan, I'm thinking this is where I, I, I would think Ben might have a role to play in this by visiting these establishments, a, just to see whether they're still in business. I guess they're they're in business. Oh, they are in yeah. business. Yeah, then, yeah, these are all in business. Then, uh, you know, I would suggest we have some a, a deadline. You know, or it goes. Find them, perhaps. I mean, they've got to have be licensed. Um, is that a town thing that the town would advise us on uh, on how that would proceed? Right, and so that's why I'm thinking Ben. Well, so, so, so the email, Susan. Um, if if they did not, um, if we had a bad email address, let's say, um, we would be aware of that. It would not. It would come back as being undeliverable. I, I'm guessing that a, a good part of it is people may have tried to use the application. And either didn't know um, essentially how to, how to deal with it, how to work with it. They perhaps didn't follow the instructions or or whatever. Um, so, so I don't think, without knowing, I don't think there's any malicious intent per se. But again, to your point, um, they're really they're non-compliant. They should have 
uh, renewed their license, or excuse me, their permits effective January 1st. And God. I'm sorry, say that again. Um, but it, 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 I think um, we either going to have to pay them a visit. Um, and again, you're talking about uh, 43 establishments. Um, I, again, I don't think it's going to end up being 43. It's going to be a number much less than that. Um, but I, I think we need to give them at least until the end of the month. Again, because next week there's a holiday. It's a short month, so on and so forth. But, but I think by, by the next our next meeting, which I believe is scheduled for March 2nd, um, we should have a better picture of, number one, who's still not permitted, and number two, what action you guys want to take, you guys being the board. So my sense, Susan, would be that at the minimum, uh, perhaps have been called these establishments if we don't hear back from them via email and reach out by just calling these businesses um, and finding out what their story is. Um, I mean, these are all people who who had licenses last year. Right. So they know they have to renew yearly. And I can understand there might have been some sort of um, mishap in terms of trying to do things online, but nonetheless... There's still the paper that the paperwork they can fill out and drop off the check. Right, and so and so right. They, so, um, so, so so they've done neither. They they they've done neither. They, right, right. So they I haven't I, they haven't completed an application or dropped one off. Right, and they haven't paid the application fee. Right. So Susan, what's what's your sense? Why don't we have Ben reach out to these forty three establishments, find out what their situation is, and um. Tell them they've got to be in by the, uh, I don't know, give them uh, another two weeks to complete it. Well, I'm, I'm not even saying shut down their business. I, I'm just saying at that point that we could look at fines or whatever. But 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 the point is, uh, I'm not sure I'm following you about wait until um, the first of the month when Ben when we meet Ben. I, I, are you suggesting then that we have Ben follow up with them between now and our next meeting and then report back to us at our next meeting? Uh, why? What is your reasoning on that? Why not have Ben reach out now? No. So, my, so Susan, if I, if I can jump in. So, again, there are 43 the um again the, the email just went out this morning so and and the, the 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 paper letters if you will that uh are going through the uh, postal system those were put in um a uh, government mailbox like two hours ago so they would presumably not get those letters until let's say saturday um so what that does, that brings us to, um, again, our next meeting is two weeks from today. So I think your idea is probably not a bad idea where we can look at it at that point and figure out, okay, we have 10 left. 
or we have five left or we have 15 left or whatever the number is, uh, have Ben attend the meeting uh, and uh, decide what action we're going to take with those 10 or those 15. I, I don't think we necessarily want to shut any businesses down. You know, worst case, you know, uh, again, give them a third try or, you know, ticket them or whatever. But I don't think we want to start closing business establishments. No, we we do No, I, I would I would agree again. I don't vote, obviously, but uh, I would agree with uh, with that approach. Again, I, I don't think we want to start strong arming our businesses. Uh, and, and I think getting Ben's input in terms of what his capacity is, number one and number two, what he has what he has seen done in other uh, towns where he's worked. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, and, and and I will I will bring a list of the the remaining subset of the forty three, and so so that you know, you know how how big is you know how big it is. You know, again, is it five? Is it ten? Is it fifteen? All right. So then we make a motion that we wait until the beginning of next month to see how many businesses have still not responded and um, decide at that point what what we need to do the next meeting would be the first of the month yeah second so oh um, yeah march second. yeah so that would yeah. i mean i don't i mean the first meeting but, that yeah. he would be attending yeah. of All right, so is there anything we need to vote on with that, or do I need to make a motion, or what's the... Uh... Okay. Yeah, you, I don't think there's really any All action right. we're taking that you guys are taking yet. Okay. Right. Yep. So, so let me let me clarify that a little bit. Um, Carolyn, uh, both Carolyn and I have asked uh, Jennifer um, to, to, if you will, go back in time and try to, um, I guess, flesh out, you know, what the intent was or what the, the if there was a vote by the Board of Health or you know what happened historically. You know, two years ago, three years ago, whenever it was decided what to do or what not to do, um, I did reach out to bless you. I did reach out to the uh, health director in Northampton. the The board of health in Northampton does not permit the um, the registered cannabis uh, sales agents. The, 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 yeah, Northampton has chosen not to do that. So, so, um, so again, so the research is being done in terms of, you know, what, what was voted upon, whatever it was, three years ago.
Okay, so, so again, so just so that we're all clear, again, we permitted them last year. So we have, so, so we haven't renewed them yet. And we have a, again, we have a second establishment now that we have not permitted. Right. Okay. Oh, I think that makes sense. Um I think the select board should be involved in this decision and that everyone's on the same page. Yes. That's, that's to be deferred again, yeah. The other items um, would be, I would suggest, um, one of the other items that came up was water testing, and I think that should be deferred until Emma is here. The other item um, to discuss would be the one-day food permit applications, whether they should be submitted four weeks in advance as proposed by our health agent, Ben. Um, so I guess we can talk about that issue right now. Um, right now, what does it say? Two, is it four weeks now? I don't, I don't even remember. It's... Uh given that he's the person who has to juggle this. Yeah, I was just checking the site to see if we had anything. I, I don't see anything think, on it. I thought we had. I, I think it says 14 days or 15 14 days. 14 days. Something along those lines. Okay. All right. So um, we can make a, a motion to change that as effective as of April 1st. Um, yes. Now, are these are these one just one day, just the one day one, permits? One day permits. Is that correct, Susan? Is that when we? Okay. All right. Then I make a motion that for one day permits we require four weeks advance um, notice. All right. All those in favor? I. Passed unanimously. So, so, so now that that has passed, we 
we need we, to we post just need that. to make sure yeah we we need to put that um on the web web page and um I, I would recommend i would recommend that you guys ask ben to communicate that to the young men's club i think he's meeting with them either in march or april because they've got a list of events and um, it, it, yeah and uh, yeah and also the asparagus festival because they, they they they're already having planning meetings April first. Uh, that that sounds right. Yeah, if it if it's, if it's four weeks, then yeah, any any event starting in May. <clears throat> I don't think there's I don't think there are any outdoor events in April that that I'm aware of. Yeah. All right. So do you want me to read that again? As of April 1st, one day food permits will need to give the Board of Health four weeks advance notice for inspections. Is that correct? Uh, their, their application and all attachments need to be in four weeks in advance. So Ben could do his thing if he has to go inspect the truck ahead of time, whatever. Yeah, with, with the fee. Okay. Do you want me to read it again? As of April 1st, completed one-day food permits will need to be submitted four weeks prior to the event. Um, is that an agreement the, the, as read? Is the wording okay? All right. Then we make a, I make a motion um, that we um accept that all those in favor aye susan yeah. passed and susan yes well, I mean, I have, Pat, Padley Media is with us. She's not IT. Yeah, I realized that I accidentally didn't change the name. Um, but I think that's something that I can fix later, like for when we uh, have the records of this, it can be changed. And I, yeah, I would have changed it now, but I, I think you can't change it without closing out, and I didn't want to interrupt the meeting. Okay. Uh, I, I, I have one other item. Um, I emailed to you guys, let's say, um, this morning. Yeah, I wasn't in the office yesterday. This morning, the budget for fiscal year 20, yeah, for the new fiscal year, um, the uh, the process, as you may recall, is that uh, the treasurer, town treasurer, and the town administrator um, will be meeting with the finance committee. I believe they're meeting today or tonight. And, and, and then, then thereafter, there's a joint meeting between the finance committee and the select board, 
which which then they they come to agreements or, or whatever and clarifications prior to the town meeting in May. So, so from our viewpoint, from the Board of Health viewpoint, um, they, um, Linda and uh, the the Treasury Department, they've gone ahead and uh, they're they're moving forward with essentially the budget that we had prepared that we had submitted. Uh, they've added a uh, the cost of living adjustment for uh, Ben and myself, and that's where it's at. Just to let you know. So there, no problem, my pleasure. So so there's nothing we need to do at this point, but I just want to make sure that the two of you knew that, again, uh, they're moving forward with what we submitted.